The wait is over. College football is here. Now, if you actively consume the written product disseminated by the games press, you've probably read a lot about how NCAA Football 11 finally takes the necessary steps to distinguish itself from its popular older brother, the Madden series. I know I have. I've read about new modes and new online components, lots of new features, yada, yada, yada. What you hear much less about is the gameplay. And that's because there's no story there. So instead, we've seen headlines and review summaries based on the idea that this is some coming of age for the series, thanks to a few new features. He gets out to about the 18-yard line. We're about to find out what these teams have in store for us today. But you're not going to hear those things here, or at least I'm not going to tell you those superfluous new trimmings and features have changed the game at the core of NCAA Football 11, because they just haven't. Call it NCAA Football, call it Madden, call it whatever you want. This is just another polished football game from EA Sports, and with that comes a criticism which long ago became inherent. I've played this same game over and over and over again. Now, to be clear, I'm not trying to make some pseudo-principled stance against the way the truly awesome people at Electronic Arts conduct their business. I don't hold any grudges against EA for annually updating their sports franchises with full-price releases. I mean, people buy them in droves. It's, It's great business. My problem with their football titles is that they're predicated simply on adding new features to what is essentially an unchanged gameplay experience. I'm sorry, but I don't see the value in adding facial expressions or dynamic new lighting to a football game. That just doesn't cut it for me. I mean, I can wax my car and install a new stereo, but I'm not going to drive it around the block afterward and call it my new ride. And despite everything you've heard about the new features, some of which are admittedly very cool, that's essentially what NCAA Football 11 is. A waxed up version of Madden slash NCAA football pretending to be a flashy new ride. To the end zone and it's caught touchdown. They look awesome on that play. A well thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. So what tweaks have been made to NCAA football 11? Well, the list is short and despite the pomp and circumstance surrounding some of them, somewhat trivial. EA Sports has improved the intelligence of your run blockers on offense, so you'll often find better holes to run through even in the secondary. They've also taken away the turbo functionality, but because the game feels a bit faster than prior releases in the Madden NCAA consortium, it's never really an issue. But other than that, there's really not much to talk about. At least, not much you'll notice or find useful. As is often the case when games strive to be as hyper-realistic as possible, there are a lot of features so nuanced you can play the game for hours without even realizing they're there. The key adjective for NCAA Football 11's gameplay is simply tweaked, as seems to be the case year after year. But to EA Sports' credit, the game does feel a bit more refined than prior versions. But, of course, the big story with NCAA Football isn't really what you're playing, but rather, it's extraneous features. Which, to me, is like ordering pizza because the pepperonis look good. But to be fair, these are some very cool pepperonis. And he showed you why right there. His speed just melts coverage schemes. Headlining the game's seemingly endless list of options and modes is the new Online Dynasty. Now, this mode allows you to actually take the game online after you've shut down your console, allowing you to recruit players and create storylines for your teams from your web browser. It's a really inventive idea which totally achieves the goal of keeping you connected to your team long after you've shut off your system. Consider this yet another chip in the wall which once separated the player from their games. It's definitely an impressive achievement, but it does beg the question, Will people actually use it, or is it a feature that's just cool to have? As cool as that addition may be, however, the game's other modes are virtually the same as they've always been. 
And furthermore, the game's implementation of an ESPN interface makes NCAA Football 11 feel more like an advertisement for the network than a video game. And that's really not helped by the commercials. That's right, there are commercials in NCAA Football 11. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. But, but they're so realistic! Listen, I'm just not this game's target audience. And I simply can't tell you this is some game-changing football release from EA Sports. But what I can tell you is that NCAA Football 11 is yet another polished and well-made football game from EA Sports, developed with a clear passion for college football. And if that's good enough for you, NCAA Football 11 will probably blow you away. And had it been about zombies instead of overprivileged student-athletes, it might have blown me away too. Looks like he's ready to kick this one off. 